in our life. And in the scriptures in Thessalonians, I've told you that you need to stand firm. I've told you that you need to have confidence. I've told you that you need to have hope and you've got to have encouragement. And in order for us to live in hope, in order for us to live on a firm foundation, in order for us to maintain our confidence, we've got to have strength. For those of you that used to smoke, or for those of you that still smoke, you realize how difficult it is to quit on your own. It's an addiction. No matter what you think of it, it it's an addiction. And it is extremely hard to quit on your own. It is hard to quit using your willpower and your strength. That's why our strength has to come from somewhere else. Our strength isn't found in us. Our strength has got to be found in Him. In Psalms chapter 18, starting in verse 1, the psalmist David cries out to him and says, I love you, Lord, my strength. Our strength to do what God has called us to do comes from Him and not from us. Our power to understand who He is comes from Him and not from us. Our abilities to walk and stand firm and keep our confidence and maintain our hope don't come from an inner willpower, but come from the Word of God that is life to us. And through the character of God and everything that He is. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I will take refuge. Another translation says, will trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold. He is what gives me the strength. I love it when Paul writes about his thorn in the flesh. He says, God, I've cried out to you to take this thorn away, but I still got it. And his response, God's response is, in your weakness, my strength, God's strength, is made perfect. There's nothing wrong with admitting you can't do it when you follow it up by He can. There's nothing wrong with saying I don't have the strength to overcome this problem. As long as you say He has overcome and I'm going to overcome as I confess Him and confess His power. He overcame so that we could be overcomers. He gave you strength so that you can stand, so that you can have confidence, so that you can have hope, so that you can walk in faith. He gave you all the power you need to do what He has called you to do. When we start relying on us, we're in a whole lot of trouble. But if we continue relying on Him, we will gain victory and we will overcome. I love you, God, so much. And I thank you, Lord, that you are my strength, you are my comfort. And I ask in Jesus' precious name that you would be these people's strength and their comfort. Let them know, God, that you chose them. From the very foundation of the earth, you picked them out for a specific reason and for a specific purpose. And therefore, the foundation of the earth, from the foundation of the earth, you put in them a desire to know you. And you put in them a reason for being. So Father, as we are walking this path and as we are going along our way, I ask God that you would continue to give us confidence. You would continue to give us strength. You would continue, God, to give us power over the enemy. 
And that, Father, in Jesus' name, you would cause us to be overcome by your love, by your grace, and by your mercy. And that we would be overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Father, we praise you and we worship you. And I ask for every person in this room, Lord, let them see your grace and your love in their life like never before. And let them rely on your strength and in your power. And Father, we just ask God right now that you would bless the offerings that are being given today. That you would bless the givers. And that in Jesus' precious name, you would multiply it back to them. And that in Jesus' precious name, your grace and your strength would be in their finances as well in, as in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.